It isn't easy to pigeonhole the new Peugeot 408, which sits between family hatchbacks such as the Volkswagen Golf, family SUVs such as the Nissan Qashqai and saloons such as the VW Passat. Peugeot will be hoping the 408 can lure customers away from all those cars and it's aiming to do that with a very striking exterior design. Whether you regard it as attractive will be a question of taste, but we think it's a noticeable and interesting car to look at, if not classically beautiful, Peugeot is busily building a solid reputation for itself when it comes to styling and the 408 does nothing to damage that too much, maybe it is trying a little too hard, but we wouldn't call it ugly. Peugeot has always had a penchant for the unconventional, so perhaps the new 408 shouldn't be too much of a surprise, Peugeot calls it a C-segment fastback, and it's a five-door hatchback with an almost sedan-like three-box shape complemented by a lifted, SUV-esque stance, complete with protective body cladding. The aesthetic won't appeal to everyone, but you have to agree that it's a striking thing to look at and it's headed to Australia. The most impressive feature of the Peugeot 408 is its looks, it upholds this French automaker's quirky image by fusing the best of a sleek saloon and a high-riding SUV. This mashup looks pretty good and kind of reminds us of the Volvo V60 Cross Country and the Audi A6 All-Road, but the 408 transcends them all with a sinister and futuristic design language, the front fascia gets the cool lion logo surrounded by an interesting grille that fades away into the front bumper. The LED headlamps use Matrix technology and those fong-shaped DRLs elevate this crossover SUV's angry look, adding to its SUV side are chunky body cladding all around on the lower portion. Even more drool-worthy are those cool wheels that have a rather confusing design, these are straight-up concept car bits that are rarely seen on production vehicles. Contrary to how this Peugeot looks, its performance figures are lackluster, the 408 comes with three engine options, pure gasoline and two plug-in hybrids. The base gas-only unit is a 1.2-liter naturally aspirated three-cylinder motor that churns out 130 horsepower and 169 pound-feet of torque. The smaller hybrid unit is a 1.6-liter inline-four motor coupled with a 109 horsepower electric motor that churns out a combined 180 horsepower and 265 pound-feet of torque. The more powerful hybrid option uses the same 109 horsepower electric motor, but this time the 1.6 liter gasoline motor churns out 180 horsepower to produce a combined 225 horsepower. The torque figure remains unchanged at 265 pound feet. The electric motor is coupled to a 12.4 kilowatt hour Li Ion battery pack that is packed under the floor. Peugeot provides a standard onboard charger that supports up to 3.7 kilowatts. With a 14A charger, the battery pack can juice up in almost 4 hours. A Eurospec domestic charger will take a whopping 7 plus hours to charge the electric side of this Peugeot. The automaker also offers consumers the option to upgrade to a 7.4 kilowatts bundled charger that can cut the charging time to under 2 hours. The interior looks clean, futuristic and similar because the 408 shares most of its cabin features with the equally enticing Peugeot 308 Hatch T, the dashboard has a driver-focused layout and flaunts the latest Peugeot i-cockpit design. The steering wheel is compact and has a high-mounted sleek digital instrument cluster as its backdrop, the dashboard has a geometric design and is dominated by a 10-inch touchscreen infotainment unit at the center. This runs a clever iConnect interface that emphasizes connected features. There is a thin strip of eye toggles at the bottom of the screen which can be customized to trigger any possible function of the car. Thankfully Peugeot also offers a strip of physical controls below the infotainment unit that takes care of the aircon functions. The center console has a clever layout of the gear selector, drive mode knob, a wireless phone charger, USB ports and two cup holders. The seating space is notably lavish for both the rows and Peugeot states that the second row passenger enjoys generous knee room owing to the stretched wheelbase.